All right guys, so I made it. Let's do a quick review and guide to Redbird Arch Trail. As you can see right behind me, there's the waterfall to the arch. We're kind of like in this valley right now. And where the trail was, was on the ridge almost the whole way. And then all of a sudden you just declined right into this valley. A few details on doing this trail. First, 
you're gonna wanna expect it to be very challenging, very difficult. I don't recommend this for just like a family or kids. I would say you need to be experienced directionally, be experienced with using a compass, knowing how to track where you came from, things like that. It's about four miles out and back, so it's about two miles here, two miles back. It took me about an hour and 40 minutes, maybe to two hours, just because the trail is actually not maintained whatsoever. I mean, the, the signs of it being maintained look like it was years ago. And now, since all the storms are rolling through in springtime, there's trees all over the trail and it's hard to navigate and get around. And so it took me a long time to get here. As always, I got my trail map off of all trails. Really following that helped me a bunch. This trail on all trails will show you each step by step and show your little arrow, you know, of, of your, where you are on the map. But all around, just expect it to be pretty muddy because there's a lot of water that runs through here and expect it to be pretty overgrown. So that's kind of the guide of how to get here. My review on this, I would probably rate it somewhere three out of five. On all trails, they gave it a 3.5. I saw a lot of people in the review section talking a lot about it being like a one. I don't think it's a one. I think we need to learn what reviews and the rating scale is. If it's a one, that means you should never hike this for no reason whatsoever. I highly disagree with that. I think you should hike this trail. I think this is actually a very unique spot. Not a lot of people know about this spot because it's overgrown and it's hard to get here. So my review is basically if you love the challenge, the adventure, and getting that sense of, wow, I'm in the middle of nowhere, then come here to Redbird Arch. Also the actual arch or natural bridge is huge. I mean, this, this whole section in here, a bunch of people could come down here and have a good time camping. It's just a very cool place to hang out. So that's my quick guide and review. I hope you all can do this sometime if you're interested. Let me know what you think. If you've ever hiked around here in Red River Gorge, or if there's any trails that you recommend here in the area, I would love to check those out. I'm always down to try new trails and to see what's new in the area, so let me know. As far as this video, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you can try this trail out yourself sometime. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video. If you're interested, hit the link in my description to buy me a coffee. You'll get the behind the scenes look at what I do here at this channel. But as always, keep exploring and we'll see you in the next one.